Just a quick one guys, we have released our brand new Rangers Christmas drop. We've got the Sing in the Sash tees, along with the famous RFC Christmas tee. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description, or go to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Smile still on my face guys, as we're now into Saturday. Uh, um, yeah, I'm still buzzing off the uh, the game the other night. I think I watched the highlights about 15 times, and I've been showing non-Rangers friends the highlights. Uh, super buzzing with the actual result. Haven't been able to stop talking about the game with any football fan here in Bali. Uh, yeah, literally, absolutely buzzing. So proud of the team for for qualifying, of course, uh, top of the group. And yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to the game, of course, tomorrow against Aberdeen in the Scottish League Cup. Going to be a fantastic watch. Um, as I said, hopefully we can get that first trophy um, under our belt. Uh, very, very important. As I said, keep on saying, the League Cup has eluded us uh, so many times over the recent years. We've always sort of fell, uh, not even just in the final against sort of Celtic, but like just fell at semi-final hurdles against teams like Aberdeen, teams like Hibernian. Um, but um, I have a real confident feeling and belief that we could actually this time uh, win that League Cup. And um, as I said, hopefully come Sunday, uh, we're all having a big party. I'll probably be absent on Monday uh, if we do win it. Um, but of course, look, really, really looking forward to this week. Uh, just looking forward to all the Rangers games that are coming up at this moment in time. And as I said, just from um, where I was recently, where we were recently under sort of Michael Beale, I just had no hope whatsoever. If you go back to September, just simply depressed. Honestly, it was horrible um, and just to watch this. So to get this new spring of life, just two months into it, uh, just feels really, really exciting. And I think we're going to have a successful season no matter what. And I'm really looking forward to the January transfer window to see who we bring in as well. So yeah, very, very exciting times to be a Rangers fan at this moment in time. And when Clement gets his players in, gets his ideas fully across, I think we're going to be a really, really tough um, act to, to, to try and bring down. I really do. I don't think Celtic are the completed article by any means. And I think, yeah, we can go for it for sure. Um, in this video, guys, we're going to be going through a few other bits. Sorry, that sort of freestyle of just random stuff. But yeah, just super buzzing at this moment in time. Uh, but guys, in today's video, we're going to be going through why uh, well, Rangers are getting uh, worldwide or and European uh, recognitions from their sort of recent outings. We'll discuss that uh, in today's video. Rangers right up there with the biggest teams in Europe at this moment in time. As I said, we'll discuss that later on in today's video, uh, whilst also going through a few other bits and pieces within the Rangers space. Uh, but let's start with Michael Bill. Fabrizio Romano the other day did confirm that Sunderland are in advanced talks with Michael Bill to be their next manager. Um, of course, Michael Bill being sacked by Rangers two months ago. Um, yeah, um, interesting. Um, interesting that he's getting a job there, but I'm seeing that they're probably looking at what he did at QPR in the championship. That sort of quick impact that he had with the club, and they're probably thinking, yeah, this could be the man for him. I do think Michael Bill is... is, is pretty decent manager and he could have a good career in the game but I just don't think what he was doing at Rangers in the summer the ego um, just didn't really work out for our football club but again you've been a Rangers man before and I wish him all the best at Sunderland and I actually do quite um, enjoy um, the championship and do watch the championship a little bit so um, it'd be interesting to see if he does well there with uh, Sunderland down there in that division um, so yeah I mean I don't think that's been confirmed whilst I've been uh, recording this video just yet but soon to be confirmed according to for Romano. So Michael Bill back in the hot seat once again. Um in other news, guys, as I stated, uh, Rangers, well, we can give you a, oh, Danilo did provide a sort of Rangers injury update uh, with regards to him on Instagram, did post a sort of uh, picture of his leg and stuff like that, um, and basically um, said that he's had a successful surgery, so hopefully we're not going to be waiting too long to have the big man back. Um, it was stated that it'll probably be after the winter break, it still remains that same sort of timeline, but as I say, surgery has gone well, and now it's over to him in terms of rehabilitation, so uh, interesting stuff there with regards to Danilo and as I said hopefully it's sooner rather than later before he is back. Now in other news guys as I stated the main part of today's video a uh, new data published by the Swiss Football Data has produced an updated list of the top 100 clubs that collected the most coefficient points for their country in the last five season. Yes Rangers are in third in the table out of 100 teams um, scored for UEFA country ranking of 18.375 which leaves them behind just uh, by Munich 
Munich and Manchester City. Yes, uh, that means Rangers have collected more coefficient points over the, far, the past five seasons than giants such as Real Madrid, Barcelona, Liverpool, PSG, Juventus and Manchester United. Celtic also make the top 100, but Brendan Rodgers' side, of course, are placed at around 44th um, after landing just 10.625 coefficient points over the past five years. Um, so, yeah. Rangers are really, really good company right now in terms of everybody within Europe taking note of uh, what we're doing. As I said, in the top three, we're in great um, position with Bayern Munich and Manchester City um, as a side that's collected the most coefficient points over the past five years. So very, very interesting there and very, very good achievement from our side of things. Hopefully we can continue this run into the last 16, into the quarterfinals, into the semifinals, go on for another run into the Europa League. Yes, I'm optimistic. Yes, when we get some more players back in general, uh, in the new year when we get more players signed in the club in January I think we can make a good dent of course you know you need the luck of the draw like we did have a bit of the luck of the draw in our run to 2022 final um, but who say what we can't go there Dublin would be written in the stars for us most certainly and following that yes it's great to go on a Europa League run for the finances for the fans and just to try and win a, a European trophy but it's also very very good in our pursuit for that sort of club World Cup spot um, we're currently sort of competing I think with Feyenoord as one of the sides um, and I can't remember the other team, but I don't think that they're there or thereabouts. Our probably main competition is Feyenoord. Or it's Ajax, sorry, it's Feyenoord and Ajax. Ajax are in the Conference League. Uh, Feyenoord are now into the Europa League. But if we go a bit further than Feyenoord, um, we're competing with them for that Club World Cup spot as well. So we just need to try and beat them, try and beat Ajax. And maybe we can still get to that Club World Cup. Having said that, it deter determines on who wins the Champions League this year. But... Um, we have a good chance still. It's still the dream still alive and somewhere that I would like to see our football club get to uh, for the Moolah and just for that sort of global recognition. That, that tournament would be unbelievable. It's in the United States, um, getting out there, Rangers fans playing against sort of teams like Boca Juniors and uh, Flamengo and all these sort of South American sides would be a really, 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 really exciting experience. So yeah, the dream's still alive on that front, but we take it game by game. And the next one, of course, for us guys is in the Europa League, uh, sorry, it's in the League Cup final on Sunday. I am buzzing I can't wait I've had the uh, the tunes blaring uh, today already get myself hyped up after the uh, after the game uh, the other night there playing this morning just looking forward to tomorrow rolling round um, unfortunately not going to be in Glasgow for it going to be out here in Bali but um, as I said hopefully the outcome remains the same and we're going to win that trophy and bring it back home and send the sheep back up the road miserable um, so I like to get one over them uh, but Rangers fans that's all I've really got for you today do let me know your thoughts ahead of the League Cup cash. Uh, let me know your score predictions down there in the comment section below. Do you think we'll win it? Um, and how many trophies do you think we'll win this year? Again, let me know down there in the comment section below. Uh, that brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Uh, remember, we do have our Rangers Christmas merch drop released on our website. Do browse the collection, guys. It's nearly Christmas. We'll get it to you in time for Christmas Day if you order it um, now. So yeah, make sure you do browse the collection. Link in the description or go down to rfcclothing.com thank you guys and i'll see you all next time take care peace